what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. Today I want to talk about something that I think is pretty overrated in the realm of personal finance and that is your net worth. Um, I think it's overrated for a multitude of reasons that I'll get into here in a second, but I really want to talk about why I personally don't focus on this number for myself um, and show you kind of what half of the equation when it comes to net worth that I do focus on. Now, before we get started, in case any of you guys don't really know the exact definition of your net worth, it's all of your assets minus all of your liabilities. So, you know, assets are going to be things like your cash on hand, your investments, your retirement account. Um, certain things can be assets and liabilities, things like, let's say, my rental property. It's an asset in the sense that I can sell it and it makes me money every month, but it's also a liability in the sense that I owe on it. I have debt. There's the loan against it. Um, and I probably should have said that, but those are your liabilities, your debts, and your loans. So when I did my net worth, um, it came out to be a little over $200,000, which, you know, at face value seems like a fairly good amount. Like, I'm not ashamed of that. I'm proud of that. But the reason why I don't really care about that number is the reason why I think most people shouldn't necessarily care about that number. And so let's look at some of the reasons why I think this is the case. Um, first off, if I were to go back and do my net worth, uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, a very, very, very large majority of that is my retirement account and the value of my rental property. Okay, if you were to take away those two things, um, it would not be nearly the number uh, that it is. So just to be honest with you guys, it's not like I'm just absolutely flooded with cash and I've got hundreds of thousands of dollars at my disposal. No, a lot of it is tied up in the value of my house and the value of my retirement account. Okay. And the reason why I don't think this is very reliable, um, there's two reasons. Number one, it's not like I can access this money whenever I want. It's tied up. So yeah, it can increase over time my net worth, but if I had never really have access to it, it doesn't really amount to much to me. I'd much be um, more focused on what it can provide me on a month to month basis. So if I can grow my uh, rental income amount on a monthly basis, that is much more important to me than my total net worth for a single day, right? That just doesn't make much much sense to me. Um, the other thing is, you know, this number can change so frequently, especially when your assets are tied up overwhelmingly um, to things like investments, retirement accounts, and your mortgages, because these numbers fluctuate so much given what economic status we're in, right? If we were to rewind the clock back to 2007, I bet a lot of people had a much, much higher net value or net worth than they did in 2008 and 2009. And I think we all know why. That economic downturn um, absolutely crashed certain housing markets. It, it totally destroyed um, a lot of people's retirement account balances. So, you know, if you were to focus on your net worth um, and something like that happens, that's going to be devastating. Um, and that's why I think the more important thing to focus on is your liabilities, which, you know, that is half of the net worth equation. But I think that's the much more important half because given an economic downturn and let's say your retirement balances, um, you know, kind of take a big hit, your, the value of your home takes a big hit. If your net liabilities are close to zero or, or not really much amount at all, you don't have nearly as much to worry about in these situations. And that's why I'm focused on getting my rental property loan um, paid off as soon as possible. So once that mortgage is done, right, A, my net worth is going to increase because I don't owe anything anymore. I don't have any liabilities. But also, the amount of money that I receive on a monthly basis from my rental income is going to go up as well because I no longer have interest to pay. Um, so this is the number one reason why I don't really look at my net worth at all. In fact, today was the first time I think I've ever done it. So, you know, at face value, again, I'm proud of what I have right now. I just don't really think it matters all that much because it's not consistent and it's not reliable. You know, if I were to even want to access this money, it means that I'm selling my investments, I have to close out my retirement account, take a penalty on it, and it means I would have to sell my house as well. So none of those things are things that I'm looking to do at all, and therefore I just don't put a whole lot of weight or emphasis on this. I also think because, you know, a lot of net worth does come through these things like investment accounts, retirement accounts, um, valuables such as like your house, you know, when a lot of people say they've got an extremely high net worth, 
I don't really, you know, I'm not too impressed by that considering what I know about my own net worth. And so if you ever see anyone talk about it or mention this net worth and it seems really impressive, just understand uh, what all is, is behind that because I think it is a skewed number and something we just put probably too much emphasis on as well. So overall, that's why I don't care about it nearly as much as I care about other things like operating expenses and or passive income. Um, but if you guys disagree or you think there's something I forgot to mention or left out, put it in the comment section down below because I'd always love to learn from you guys and find out what you think. Also, if you feel like supporting me and maybe helping out my net worth a few dollars, um, check out my links below. I've got an Amazon and a Patreon link down below as well as a few refer a friend and or affiliate links. So any support that you guys give the channel, I really, really do appreciate it. Also, make sure to watch my last video and leave a comment um, because I'm going to be losing $200 worth of net worth um, because I'm going to be giving it away to a few of you guys. So make sure to leave a comment. Um, but as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. You guys know what to do. But thanks for watching. Make smart financial decisions. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I know I just said this stuff, but let me say it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And to support you, here's two more videos that I've made in the past in case you haven't seen them. Don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals. Likewise, if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. But thanks again, take care, and have a good day.